The historic Governor Stone is going through a massive rebuild, and the Stoneloft Boat Shop is hoping to raise funds for the project in a creative and exciting way. News 13's Des Roland joins us live from Palmetto Paint with details on the event and how you can get in on the action. Good morning, Tess. Hey, good morning, Kelsey. Yes, we are continuing our painting this morning of the Governor's Stone. Hopefully mine looks a little bit <laughs> like the Governor's Stone. I know JD next to me is doing a fabulous job. He's actually going to be teaching the class, making every canvas count. This is a fundraiser for the Governor's Stone. So JD, walk me through what we're going through right now. So right now we're just adding our finishing details and our highlights, um, adding our little reflection on the water which is all the stuff we're going to be doing during the actual class. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're getting a taste of it now. It's open to all levels. It's $35 to register. More information can be found on our website, mypainhandle.com. And I'm also joined this morning live with Mr. Captain Barnes. He is working on the Governor's Stone, working on restoring it. I understand you guys have really exciting developments. You're working on getting it in the water in October of 2023. Where are we at in the restoration and what do we need to do to continue that progress? We're about a quarter of the way done with our controlled disassembly of the boat to get down to the keel. Uh, we're basically replacing the keel uh, with a new one and having to pull all the old framing and beam sections off to, to put in storage and then we'll put back on the new keel when we get it built. So I understand you guys have had some grants with FEMA, but you also need to raise your own funds as well. So talk to me about why that is. The Friends of the Governor's Stone have received a, basically a three to one matching grant. You know, they raised 25% of the project budget and FEMA matches at 75%, but uh, we still have yet to receive the first payment from FEMA. So we're kind of running on fumes here, uh, trying to get things going. And we still have to raise about $300,000 in order for them to match the rest of the cost of the project. Yeah, so you heard that there. They haven't received any money, so this really, really helps. And JD, can you just speak to obviously you have this nonprofit? You're helping out another nonprofit within the local community. Why are you doing that? So Palmetto Paint exists to help local nonprofits. Um, after Hurricane Michael, we saw there was a need for that in the community, and we were already doing traveling paint classes, so we thought we would start hosting more fundraisers. Um, then we got our studio space last year and officially became a nonprofit. So all of our stuff is volunteer. We just come and do it because we enjoy it. Any of our classes that are not fundraisers, that money just helps us pay for the space and keep supply costs low so that we can continue giving back as much as we can. Well, it's great to see locals helping locals, of course, and you can register. Again, all the details can be found on our website, mypanhandle.com, but it's a great fun way, and you get to take home this masterpiece as well. We'll have a lot more coming up a little bit later in the show, but for now, reporting live for you in Panama City, Tess Roland, News 13, Panhandle Strong.